Have your green thumbs been twitching? It is time to get some spring planting ready. Let's welcome Travis and Stephanie Knoop from Laughing Owl Greenhouses to the table. Yeah. We're having you get here in the winter time. Oh, time yeah. to start. We've got to get away with these winter blues. Right, but when you set your stuff down, I got excited. So I oh, think good. that we're needing that. What we're needing on earth do we start in the winter, what, like in February with? Right now, you can actually start um, all your cold season vegetables. So, you know, you can do your lettuce, you can do arugula. You can even start broccoli and cauliflower right now if you wanted to. Uh, but yeah, now's the time that you can actually wow. start looking into what are the common things that our family eats. Um, and like our family, we like to eat a lot of the lettuce, and so we'll make little mm -hmm. lettuce bowls. And then you can sit there and you can chop the lettuce off. And I want to go eat it at your house. I know. I know. <laughs> so you're it suggesting something that would be pre-processed food. Right, yeah. So, I mean, I think, I think we can all agree that our bellies tend to get tired of all the processed food that yes. we eat. Yes. So it's always nice to have something fresh. Mm -hmm. And that's one way that we, you know, we like to do it. Plus, uh, you know, our, our advantage is we have two and a half acres of greenhouses, right? So I can grow a bunch of stuff if right. I wanted to. But, right. you know, we try to keep the kids involved and, and by having them help us get things planted and growing inside the house, then it becomes a family thing. But you're and, saying those things that you just mentioned, we could plant outside. No, no you, you want to plant them inside right oh, that's now. That's why I was like, can we? <laughs> so we but, would use yeah. like one of these type containers. Mm -hmm. is, yeah. Okay, and then what do you do with that? Oh. So basically, what you do is is these come out just like this. Mm, this, it's already kind of pre-built for you. Just take that off, and then inside there's these little pellets, and these little pellets are heavily compressed. It's peat moss, and they'll oh. grow ten times the size of what it is right now once you add water to it. Now, a little trick to this is you want to add warm water. Okay, don't add okay. cold water. Warm water, what that does is it, once you put your little dome back on, it helps create kind of like a micro environment. Mm -hmm. And that heat really gives it a nice kickstart to the seed to start getting it to germinate. And so it's just a really good, uh, a, a really good little teeny greenhouse for those that, you know, might just have a windowsill that they want inside their home that they want to start growing some something fresh and easy. Lettuce in something lettuce. like that? Um, yeah, you can do okay. any type of herb. So if you like basil, if you like chives, anything like that, you can actually start it here in these little peat pellets. So, so. I put the water in, let it poof up. Uh-huh, yeah. And then put my seed in it and yeah. then cover it. And then, or is the okay. seed already and then we in have it. to the transplant not. it to where? So the, the seed's not in it. Okay. And, okay. and so you see these little indentions right yes. here? Uh -huh. That's where you would place the seed. Once it's completely saturated with, with water, okay. you want to stick your little seed in there and let it germinate. Then um, it, once you want to get it out of here, you can actually put it inside. You know, if you've got a nice little decorative pot right there, you can take the whole thing out and you can st stick it in. Because that just stays kind of as one unit. Mm -hmm. oh, yep. Or I could you that. keep it in Light that long. and just keep trimming it and eat uh, right out of it? Absolutely. Yeah. Does it need a lot of a uh, lot of sunlight? So you're going to want to keep it near a uh, bright window, especially in the winter time. Yeah. Uh, your light is just not as intense, mm -hmm. and you will have a tendency to see that your plants will start to stretch. And so it's really good to have them by a, a bright window, or if you've got those nice skylights, uh, oh. that's always really good inside okay. your home as well. Yeah. So. Well, I watch your social media, so obviously you're expanding. You just keep growing and growing and growing, and you're you're hiring more employees. So what does that mean yeah. for spring? Well, we, we've learned a hard lesson every year for okay. the last four years. <laughs> and, hard. Uh, yeah. So our, our uh, I don't know, our saying this year is we're growing more in 24. Uh, what we learned last year <laughs> is we actually doubled our production on our vegetables oh, and awesome. we doubled our production on our six packs and things and we ran out and we had a lot of upset customers with us and we're like, okay, 2024, we're gonna double it again and we're gonna wow. see what happens. Wow, that is so, impressive. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay. We, we have a tendency to run out of vegetables very quickly. We have okay. a tendency to run out of all of the the core items and our and our flowers and things and so okay. 
we're we're becoming well known for the quality that we grow yes. you know and, mm -hmm. and people have always said man your your guys' stuff does really well all summer and it's all the preparatory stuff that we do before we actually start planting mm -hmm. you know we use a lot of um, biological beneficial fungus we use a lot of uh, uh, slow release fertilizers we do all kinds of little tricks and trades because our whole intention is to provide a product that's going to give you satisfaction long term we don't want something to be you know produced that looks pretty right now and then a week later it's yeah. dead and so we take a lot of pride in what we do so we've we've doubled our staff we've we're actually oh building hands. our first uh, gutter connect series greenhouses and so we've got almost an acre under new production of, of a gutter connect greenhouse um, we've picked up uh, 45 new stores so now we've wow. we've expanded into the wholesale side and we are growing our retail side just to keep up with the demand of, of what our customers are asking from us. So yeah. So when Travis mm -hmm. came in and sat down, I said, how are you? And he said, tired. Tired. Travis, I get it. <laughs> I'm tired. Yeah, that's right. I, I understand. So. But in a so, good way, that's amazing. Yeah. Well, and now's the perfect time to start dropping off. We think in May we want flowers, but we've got to start planting those now. So this is the perfect time to start dropping off your pots I was going for those to custom that. planters so that we'll take care of them. Just think of it, we'll babysit them, make them look beautiful mm -hmm. so that when it's warm outside, you can just come pick them up and put them on your porch. It's my and favorite ready. weekend, it's yes. Mother's Day, to come pick up my pots. In fact, I thought you guys were closed in January, and mm -hmm. it's my daughter-in-law's birthday, so I just put in her birthday card. You get this much money to Laughing Owl Greenhouse. And I think Natasha said, no, they're open. I'm like, oh, I could have drove down and got the gift card. Yep. It was oh. a fake gift card. <laughs> you get this I, in May. I'm the customer that says, can you please come and pick them up and make them pretty? I know, and Natasha and bring it out last year, and I was like, you came and picked them up? Do they do that? And she's like, they did for me. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, we do. Oh, and they were yeah, gorgeous. We'll, we'll pick them up. So. It is oh, one okay. of my favorite mm -hmm. things in my yard in the summer. Let's talk about the Queen's Roses. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so we're, we're going bougie this year, right? Okay, we like um, it. We actually secured um, a contract where we're able, we're now one of the preferred greenhouses that grow David Austin Roses. Stop it. Yeah, so these are all the different varieties. We've got 40 different varieties of the David Austin Roses. We actually just planted them today. Mm -hmm. And so we're really excited about this new line. You can pre-order them now. Um, if you'd like, we've got a whole spreadsheet that you, you know, there's a QR code that you can pull up with your phone, tells you all the different varieties that we have, and you can actually reserve them online. So that's the So other we'll thing. come in the spring and they'll be like ready for us then to take home and plant. Are roses mm -hmm. like a little high maintenance? I get that impression. You know, it depends on the varieties that you're growing. So okay. the David Austins, uh, it's it's a 50-50 split. There's some that are a little bit more, uh, you know, they're a little bit more of a whiner than the other one is. So I want a low maintenance. <laughs> you want a low maintenance. I want the easy yeah. kid. You want the shrub one. You don't want the climber. Climbers can can be tough sometimes. Okay. So if you want a really nice rose, I always recommend a shrub rose. Okay. Um, yeah. We also have brought in, a, along with the David Austin roses, where we've brought in the Weeks roses as well, um, which is another strong genetic line. And so we've we've gone big on a lot of areas this year. It's like our custom planters, um, we've more than doubled our production. David Austin roses, we doubled that order. Uh, everything from Gosh. anything you can think Same. of, we've about doubled everything. So. Congratulations! Nice. Yeah. Yeah. I love this. Is that it that all amazing? due to studio chatter? <laughs> 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 For we sure. found them at the farmer's market yeah. and look at what we turned them I into. I mean, you guys are hard workers, but I think the show alone just propelled you. Yeah, for success. sure. Yeah. Well, I think, I think a, lot, a good product. Well, that right. for sure. Yes. And, I, and I think that you just, you're educating also right. because mm -hmm. I have learned, I feel like I have learned so much in the, in the t visits that you have been here to, oh, okay, so we could do that. We could do that. We could try that. We And all of the services and all of the education and all of the wonderful things that you provide, like these tools. Mm -hmm. So all of these tools are also available right at the greenhouse. At the yeah. greenhouse. Okay. Well, it's so nice. So if people have questions, like they can come in and say, what's wrong with my plant? And our staff can come and tell you exactly what products we have, okay. different varieties, whether you want to go organic or whatever it may be, which is nice. And I feel like all of our staff is incredible that they make you feel like you, if you don't know anything, that that's okay, which I absolutely yeah. love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Travis, I feel like that's the connection is you, you too. Mm -hmm. You're just and good people. Oh, yeah. Have that good feel. <laughs> yep. My favorite 
Instagram post of 2023? <laughs> you, tell, remember you dancing? Oh. With water? That was a good one. Was that your highest <laughs> likes or highest was, viewed post? That was the number one video of the year. Were, I can't, reason. you were dancing spring water uh -huh. on the yeah. flowers uh -huh. and singing? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, you need to do that yeah. more. Let's yeah. see that again. Okay. You really never get any downtime though, right? No. No, Let's you know, in go. the winter time, we we're constantly working on our production plans. Mm -hmm. uh, we actually started seeding the week of November oh of Thanksgiving week, mm -hmm. so we started putting pansies and dianthus down on the ground. So, okay, well, mm -hmm. no, since you've mentioned that, I think I saw maybe the other day, even on Main Street, the, some pansies. Are the, can they be, survive right now? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay. See, a lot of people think that it's a bad thing to be called a pansy. It's actually really <laughs> <a good thing. laughs> That's true, yeah. They are a tough, tough flower. Okay. And it's one of the only flowers that can actually go through the winter and still give you nice, bright, colorful flowers. Uh, so it's a great item to plant in your planter boxes to give Native. you a little bit of something in, yes. the, in the winter time. Can you plant those right now? Yeah, absolutely, okay. you can. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like that. It'll give you some color <laughs> all through. Or do be a pansy. Do be a pansy. <laughs> there, there you go. Right. Pansy up. Uh, yeah. 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 Always so. great to spend time with the yes. baby. Thank I'm excited, so guys. Yes, me too. Yes. We'll and see I'll be you in soon. soon with my pots. Okay, <laughs> sounds good. We're hoping to pick them up. <laughs>